Hey guys, what is up, and I welcome you all to a new League of Legends video. For this one, I'll be bringing back a series I haven't done in quite a while. And the point of this series is to give you guys three tips on potentially three different champions, or maybe just one champion, or just aspects within League of Legends. But let's go into the first tip of this episode that's going to be featuring Scion's ultimate. A cool thing about it is that you can actually use your ultimate from base on the blue side and get through the jungle and right into the Baron Pit. This is going to take some careful maneuvering throughout the jungle and probably a few tries to understand how it really works. But if you do get the hang of this, you can definitely surprise the enemy team. So you want to start off by going straight and then move it to the left very slightly. Once you get to this point right here, you want to start moving your mouse all the way to the right. Because it does take a while to turn, but it's so you don't get hit by the two walls on the left. And just a couple seconds later, you see my mouse jolts across the screen to the left, and that's to turn to avoid this wall leading into the river. And the second you pass that wall, jolt the mouse all the way back to the right so that you can actually enter the Baron Pit. And I'm sure most of you are wondering if it works on the other side of the map or the other team, but it most definitely does, but you can only go into the Dragon Pit, not the Baron Pit. But either way, the trick is very similar, but it does require a bit of practice. And a tip that is somewhat related to the previous two, Scion's ultimate tends to somewhat drift along walls even though sometimes it looks like you're about to ram right into it. I'm sure veteran Scion players are definitely aware of this, but if you're learning Scion or trying to pick him up, this is something you want to remember. And it will also probably help you make a lot of getaways that you thought you could not. The next tip is something people have been asking me to talk about for quite a while, and you see it throughout League of Legends, especially in higher play quite often, but it is a very, very important one to know. This is using an ability, following it up with a flash, and either covering more distance with a dash type ability, or just leaving less time for the opponent to react. It is very common for junglers especially to make use of this ability when they come in for the gank. Because again, not only are you covering a lot more distance, but it happens so fast that reacting to this is almost impossible. And a general rule to get this working for these abilities is to wait till the ability is near the end of the dash and then just simply flash right on top of the enemy champ. Certain champions are much easier to do this with than other champions, for instance Vi being very difficult while someone like Greg is being very simple. But the cool thing is you don't have to have a dashing type ability to make use of this ability plus flash trick, because someone like Alistair can actually pulverize and then flash on their opponent, leaving less time for the opponent to react. And this definitely includes the most common way you'll see this trick being applied with Lee Sin's ultimate then flash. But even on abilities that are a bit slower on their cast time such as Fizz's E, it can still work and you can reposition yourself as you drop down from the E ability. Or you can use this trick to help you land those difficult skill shots whenever a champion is hiding behind minions like you see here with Lux. As I use Q and then flash, the Q comes out from my new area after I flash but not where I initially used it from. This removes some cast time from the ability and less time to react. And the final tip for this video is going to be for Zed's death mark, something that I actually found out myself a little later than I should have and I was surprised to know how many people do not know about this simple thing. So we all know Zed's ultimate is there to finish off your opponent as you retreat. But there's a nice little visual indication to let you know whether or not the damage you have applied on your death mark is enough to kill your target. So in the first clip you saw nothing out of the ordinary, but if you take a look at this second clip right here, as I use my ultimate on the Nocturne, the second there is enough damage stacked on my death mark there's a shuriken spin on top of Nocturne's head, indicating that the damage definitely will kill him. However, keep in mind I have sometimes seen it glitch out where the shuriken is not on top of the champion, but the death mark still finishes them off. But that is it for this tips video, guys. I also recommend checking out a huge sale that is happening with myself and Kingwin that includes the big games like GTA 5 and Witcher 3. I'll put a link in the description, check it out. But if you did enjoy this video, guys, throw in a like, check out the other videos, and I'll see you next time. Peace.